Your Excellency, Madam Premier, Power of this Parliament is dear friends, dear American friends. I don't have my speech on the QR code. It's not even written. But these are the words that uh, I want to tell you with all my heart today uh, when we are celebrating what for every country uh, is probably the most important day. The day when you celebrate, when we celebrate independence and freedom. Because that's when a country starts existing. That's when a country starts meeting its own history. And I want to congratulate you all on this very important day for the United States of America. It's a very important day for Georgia also, because we know, sometimes it might not look like that, but we know and understand and appreciate that America has stood by us as a friend for now over 30 years since our independence and at times that have been very complex to say the least, sometimes difficult, but always has America been on our side. It has been on our side in this very long march towards state building, which nobody knows when it's really finished. It's a process. Uh, but we have gotten support and steady support in that uh, state building that is so important when you are an independent state. Economic, economic independence moving from socialist economy or non-economy to a real economy, that too has been where we have received American incredible support. And that is something that we know and we are not forgetting. Support for rediscovering human rights, as you mentioned, this is something, this is a value that Georgia has shared over all its history. But we have had 70 years that have closed this parenthesis and it was necessary to rebuild uh, our confidence in human rights. You have been by us to support Georgia's sovereignty and territorial integrity and never renounce, as we have never renounced. You have supported, and I, as a Supreme Commander-in-Chief, want to thank you for that, the creation of the Georgian army after the independence, the modernization of the Georgian army, and the Georgian army today that can be proud to be uh, having NATO standards. That has allowed us to share some very difficult missions, whether it was in Iraq or in Afghanistan, and again to modernize, to make our army more robust and more resilient. We have shared all of that and we have shared all the values that found any democracy. But our friendship has moved from friendship to partnership and to strategic partnership. And today more than ever, we count on you. We need you and I'm convinced that we are going to be supported by you in this very important moment in our history. We need you to move towards the next stage of European integration, which is at hand, it's there, it's not yet the membership, but it's a very substantial step toward that, that has been in a way delivered to us in advance by Ukraine, thanks to Ukraine and thanks to their incredible fight. But we have to deliver also 
and we have to get your support uh, when together with our European partners, your word with our European partners at that decisive moment, which will be a political moment, is extremely important. And you know that, we know that. We have to count on you to move us forward towards our integration in NATO, to getting more security guarantees, to get us on the path that will get us to where security, peace, and stability is really ensured and is no longer under challenge, under a constant challenge, as it still is when the country has two occupied territories and a border that is not a border but is an occupation line. We have to count on you today more than ever when the world is confronted to this incredible challenge that is the Russian aggression towards Ukraine, this new Russian manifestation of Russian imperialism that at some point in time maybe we had hoped would belong to the past, but no, it's there and it's as active as it was. We need to count on you in front of the Russian propaganda in the attempts today to develop a new soft policy where there cannot be, there will not be a military policy in front of the attacks against the Western values that we see here in this country developing. And we need there our partners to be on our side. We need them to be on our side in front of the cyber attacks, which are another way of aggressing a country today and very effective at some times, or can be very effective. We have to count on you tomorrow, because Ukraine will win. Ukraine's sovereignty will be restored. And at that point in time, there will have to be peace talks. So a new world order can emerge. A new world order that will restore what has been so challenged, the principles of international law, the human rights, the coexistence between countries, all of that has to be reinvented. And at the time when this will be reinvented, and it will be, we need to count on you, because nobody can allow that after that time, some territories continue to be occupied. Because if that is allowed, if our partners allow that, then we will find this Russia in some years' time doing the same thing as it's doing today in Ukraine. The choice is there. The choice is ours all together. We need to be more united. Our front cannot be dispersed. We have to be all united in wanting what has to happen tomorrow, a peaceful, stable, democratic world that is founded on human rights, that is founded on respect of neighbors, that is founded on living together. That world we have to create together, and for that we have to count on you, because America is the land of the free and the home of the brave, and so does Georgia consider itself, that it's a land of the free and the home of the brave. And that is what Georgia will be tomorrow as it has been yesterday. Let me finish, Madam Ambassador, by thanking you for all you have done in this country, or all you have attempted to do. Uh, and we are trying, and living is trying, and I want to wish you all success in your next functions, and be sure that you will keep here friends. Georgia will be your friend, and as the country that likes to host its friends, you will be here always received as a friend. Thank you very much.